incredible athletes like Japanese phenom chosen who's suited up alongside the former lock tonight to win the most anticipated war games matches in WWE history. Uh, my question, is Chosen even allowed to compete in WWE? All's fair in love and war games, Saxton. Both foursomes are clearly willing to do whatever it takes with the WWE title match's stipulation hanging in the balance. Let the games begin. Double leg drop. Slade escapes the attack. And Slade gets stonewalled. He just got sent flying into the opposite ring. That was absolutely amazing. And that failed to hit the mark. And Tagiri finds its mark. Right to the kidneys from behind. And Slade can't find a way off the blocks. Slade's toughness needs to kick in here. And the balance of power is about to shift with this upcoming entrant. Uh oh double springboard! Can you believe it? He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Bursting out of the cage, eager to capitalize on the situation. Running Hurricane Rana. Beautiful. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Close line to the back of the neck. Jaw-dropping athleticism. Top. Slade able to adapt. Face first into the Snapmare Driver. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. And Takiri finds its mark. He's headed up. Might be going toward the top of this war game structure. The man's hot dogging right now. Well, that's nothing new. Left hook. Oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. Inside. Oh, no. Why? Taking off from the ropes. Running Hurt Colorado. Time is ticking away. Shortly, we'll have a fresh competitor to even the eye. And he said, you're not going to be with that this time. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. And with the next combatant on their way, it looks like things are close to a fair fight once again. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down, and oh, stop right to the hand. Trapped. Elbow throw. Saying not 
Vicious right forearm. Tossed into the trench, and he's in a dangerous position now. Getting set up for something in the corner, and he had Riddle scouted. Shot to the midsection connects. Oh, vicious body shot. What a shot. That'll fillet your chest. The next entry and coming to even up the odds. The drop kick of the corner. Perfectly executed. Swings open and out they come. And their team could definitely use their help. And I can see some blood coming from the... It looks like we're going to see Serena Del Sol. Oh, Moss will come back from that. And they have now entered the battle. It looks like we're going to see Serena Del Sol. That kind of move makes a statement. Situation. And they're not going to go into this one without a little backup in their corner. Scoop slam. And finds a counter. Numbers about to be even, but not before he brings in a little backup from the outside. And just being tossed away there. And the reverse DDT. Okay. Has officially begun. The cage is locked for the last time as more games officially begin. Each of these teams calculating what their fastest way to victory is now. And attacking above the shoulders has become this. Hoist it up. This is outrageous power. What's up, we're going to see Holy cow, a taste of his own medicine. That one has to end this. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Insulting. Climbing up the wall now. 
and he's got some crazy idea in mind from the looks of this. Close fist punch to the jump. That's one way to break up a move. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's record. And an act cracker, vintage miss. has survived and their leader has now earned the right to choose his SummerSlam stipulation. The former lock still faces long odds, but I guarantee he will take whatever advantage he can get. Leaving pieces of their body and soul in the ring, but the price is worth the trans... all comes down to this. Win the title at SummerSlam, and you're golden. Set for life, probably. Lose? Eh, uh, well, you're finished. Done. Ruined. Gone forever. What happened to the Tavish who once told me there was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE? I'm trying a different approach. Is it working? Not really. All right. Have you decided what type of match you're going to pick? Because I was thinking... You should choose the safe match. As in, like, the safe choice? I'm not sure what that would even be. No. I mean a new match type I came up with called a safe match. You win by locking your opponent in the safe that you had in your WWE debut. Everything comes full circle. It's called long-term storytelling, mate. <laughs> Do you love it? I'm not sure. Well... If you can't make up your mind about the match type, we at least need to know who's going to be in your corner. The faction started a pool on who you're going to pick. Go with Chosen, and drinks are on me. No offense to anyone else, but I think he gives me the best chance to take the title. Seriously? Not Chosen won the pool and he's never going to shut up about it. But yeah, good choice. It's been a bit, but here we are, wrapping things up with SummerSlam approaching. You mean you're not going to follow me around the rest of my career? <sighs> Everything has to come to an end. I mean, I know viewers think they want a super long story that goes on and on forever, but really, isn't something shorter with an actual ending better? It's like, you have this cool experience, and then you can go watch something from the women's division, right? Anyway, we're getting off track. SummerSlam's in LA, of all places. <sighs> I know. It's a chance at redemption on so many levels. I'm back in the main event, but instead of a bunch of empty seats this time, we're the biggest thing in town and it's sold out. It feels good. What about the match stipulation, though? I might be reading into this too much, but are you putting off making a decision because it means the match is officially here, and if you lose, you'll be faced with leaving WWE? Not at all. Despite my recent success, I'm going to need to do everything I can to win. So, I've been keeping the match stipulation to myself as a strategic advantage. Makes sense. 
But what are you going to choose? You're going to have to announce it sooner than later. If you need to know, it's going to be a regular, normal match. I don't need to rely on anything other than my wrestling ability to beat Slade, win the championship, and hang on to my job. Solid choice. And if this is it, well, it's been fun. And weird. Mostly fun, though. Hope to see you around. Around here, I mean. Yeah. You too, Kat. So final thoughts heading into SummerSlam. Will you walk away champion and end your former friend's WWE career? Or will he somehow overcome the odds and beat the deadline? <laughs> Are those the type of questions you typically ask? If so, I'm glad I haven't wasted my time doing more of these. But if you need an answer, the lock is going to be looking for a job after SummerSlam. And let's get one thing straight. We were never friends. But I will take this opportunity to thank him. See, if he hadn't been such a failure and blown every opportunity that was handed to him, I might not be where I am today. So thanks for that. Confident, despite the fact that you didn't get to even choose the match stipulation. I don't care what kind of match it is. It could be a blindfold match, a, a, a lumberjack match, or a freaking padlock on a pole match for all I care. They all end the same. I win. Hey, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call, one way or another. <sighs> Understood. Assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed. Bear with us. We have some business to take care of. What is going on here? I have a bad feeling about this. I know we talked this over, but now that we're out here, it doesn't feel right. Slade, we've been over this already. Just do the right thing. I can win the match at SummerSlam. Just give me the chance. It's been decided. We're going with Randy instead. So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward. I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will. For starters, the night the lock returned to WWE, you overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or how about the time you got beat down backstage, which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place? Or more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost, allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately, losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. But you know who's all about winning and is a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that or we'll make the decision for you. Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, 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 he, he's going to do it. This is absolutely disgusting. What a farce. And here comes the referee to count the pinfall. What a joke. Two, and Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion. Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see a WWE Championship change hands like this, but 
Here we are. He did the right thing. Look, I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger had game plan to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder in my opinion. What do you want? Here to pull another last-minute swerve? No, actually the opposite. I'm proposing a gentleman's agreement. I'll be in Randy's corner and you have your backup and yours. But let's agree to keep the others out of this. No one else from either side gets involved in the match. And you expect me to trust you? I'm not sure I can trust you either. But that's how these things work. Where is this even coming from? Our two sides have battled enough leading up to this. It's time to settle it in the ring, one on one. And after we made the switch to Orton, I was confident we could do that. He doesn't need any extra outside help. Do you? No, I don't. But if you're trying to play some kind of 11th hour mind games, it's not going to work. I'm taking your paper champion's title tonight. We won't have to wait much longer to find out, will we? See you out there. You know, this last minute switch to Orton actually reminds me of the time. I was supposed to face the British Bulldog on WCW Saturday night, but then his dog bit him, so I ended up facing Vader instead. But you rolled with the punches and ended up getting the win? <laughs> oh no, it completely threw me off and I ended up losing in like 45 seconds. Again, you really need to work on your pep talks. To be fair, you've had a better part of a week to prepare, while I only had about an hour. It's much different. I hope so. It is different. And you are too. I've known that since the first time I ever saw you. You had it. As something special that can't be taught has separated you from the rest. Sure, there's been setbacks along the way, but they've only made you stronger and prepared you for this very moment. And now that you're at the finish line, they go and move it somewhere else. Big deal. You'll cross that line too. It's what you do. Now go out there and win the bloody match. That was a lot better. Ah, you think so? I thought maybe it's a bit much. No, but the time for talking is over. Like you said, now I just need to go out there and win the damn match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. It's the man who's here to beat the deadline. It's one of the greatest to ever lace them up. WWE Champion, Randy Orton. Introducing the challenge. The chaotic road to SummerSlam is all over this. One of the most anticipated matches in WWE history for the WWE Championship. But it's so much more than that, Cole. It's a match between a superstar who left WWE to find himself and came back to stun the world. And a living legend. 
legend looking to cement his legacy as one of WWE's all-time greats. And don't forget the greats joining them tonight, like Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels, who has as much to lose as anyone. No matter how you look at it, this one's huge, and it's all happening right now. the strike and he counters with the headlock backbreaker vintage randy orton orton's clearly in control now it looks like he's trying for a top rope hung ddt his opponent's doing everything he can to counter and here comes Shawn michaels with the assist but Shawn gets taken out and now the challenger has an opening Orton charges. Drop to Holden to the corner. Meanwhile, all hell is broken loose at ringside. It looks like they'll no longer be a factor in this match. This is now truly one-on-one. -on -one. Or is it? Slade is here. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? It's out the window, clearly. The challenger's in big trouble here. Okay, oh, Randy Orton. What the hell? Did that just happen? Apparently, Slade hasn't gotten over being replaced. And that could be enough to end this. Orton kicks out. I thought that was it. So did the challenger, but it's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Viper. And the gear here finds its mark. Boom, what impact. The Viper is facing a bit of danger here. This can't be how Randy Orton envisioned this match going. The champ taking their share of hits now. Set right out of the ring. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Whoa. Into the DDT. Don't come over here. Cole, quick, use Saxton as a human shield. Off the barricade. under the ropes to get back inside.
faith in himself. Orton getting worked on right now. Looks like Orton's struggling here. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. A revolving door of forms. Oh, it's over the guy. Serena Del Sol. The title has changed hands. He did it. Not only is he the new WWE champion, but he beat the deadline and is officially here to stay. Not to interrupt the victory celebration, but Shawn Michaels is back. Maybe to do that exact thing. It's over. You lost. Just give the man his due for once. That looks to be a small sign of respect for Michaels to the new champ. Maybe they can finally put all this behind them and move on. Much of the criticism he faced earlier in his career centered around his inability to work with others. So it was fitting that tonight it came down to just him and Orton in the ring. One on one. No one else to rely on but himself. What the heck? That's Sami Zayn! The new champion was just blindsided with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Is Sami cashing in? He is! It's official! We have a second impromptu WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. I can't believe this is happening. He beat the deadline, but he might not walk out of here champion. Up, everybody, because we might be witnessing one of the most electrifying cash-ins in WWE history at one of the craziest SummerSlams of all time. Sami Zayn has shocked not only the brand-new WWE Champion, but he's shaken the WWE Universe to its core. Myself included. Could somebody please pick my jaw up off the floor so I can call this match? You're on your own, Corey. It's Sami Zayn versus the newly minted WWE Champion for the title right now. That hit connects from Sami Zayn. Right forearm. Get back here. Leg Larry. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show up. <laughs> wow, what agility. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Sami Zayn looks to capitalize. He's setting up for the Huluva kick. This could be it. He moved. He dodged the Huluva kick. With the roll up. Two, three, that will do it. He successfully defended his WWE Championship after Sami Zayn's shocking cash in. Sami Zayn can't believe it. He thought he picked the perfect moment to cash in. And there goes Sami. Thanks for coming out. And now the champion's faction has come out to congratulate their leader. We talked about how the champion wanted to do everything himself when he first got to WWE, but he wouldn't be experiencing any of this if he hadn't learned to be part of a team and eventually lead one. 
Some of these men may now be looking for an opportunity to face the new champion. But for tonight at least, it's time to soak this all in and enjoy the moment. And there you see Slade who had his share of ups and downs with the new champion after being dropped from the title match tonight, but still making his presence known. He may also be looking for redemption. But for now, it seems as if he's willing to give his former ally the respect he deserves. Good, because I don't think we or our champion can withstand another impromptu match. Let the man celebrate. He's earned it. He certainly has, Corey. Thank you once again for joining us at SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Was he stubborn? Definitely. Like right up there with the best of them, including yours truly. And things definitely didn't go as planned. I mean, I haven't been in management for too long, but even I know it's not the intention to fire a top prospect and then go to war with them after they force their way back into WWE. But at the end of the day, we trusted the process and the results speak for themselves. He lived up to his potential, didn't he? We said he was a future champion, and now he is. We weren't wrong. Did he color outside the lines a bit on his way there? Yes. But that's what the best artists do, and I respect that. I really do. Uh, sorry, but I wasn't actually recording yet. Do you mind saying all of that again? <laughs>